Hey, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy. In today's video, we're gonna be giving you the automatic fails that actually happen for your road test. So as long as you avoid these things that I'm about to talk to you about right now, then you have a much higher chance of actually passing your test. All right, so for those of you who don't know, my name is Jonathan and I'm the founder of Driving Academy. And here at Driving Academy, we say that we're the best driving school around because we're here to guarantee that we get you a CDL license, right? How do we guarantee it? We're, we're gonna give you all the training that you need to get yourself ready for the test. And then we're gonna take you to the test with our vehicle so and then you can pass the first time. And for whatever reason, if you don't pass the first time, we'll keep taking you for the test until you pass and you never have to pay us anything extra, right? So we're here to make sure that you're committed and then you get your license as soon as possible. But in today's video, we're gonna be going over the actual road test itself and what to avoid because if you do any of these one things, you will have what they call an automatic failure on the test and you're going home. And we don't want that to happen because you worked your butt off. So why not get the job done and get your license so you can start working? All right, so for those of you who might not be aware, the CDL road test is two and a half hours long. It's gonna be split into three different portions of the test itself. You're gonna have the pre-trip inspection, you're gonna have the parking maneuvers, you're also gonna have the driving on the road, all right? So the pre-trip inspection takes about an hour, the parking is about another hour, and then the road driving is only about 30 minutes long. So that's how we get to two and a half hours long for the whole thing. Now the way I want you to think about it is, each part of the test is like almost like a checkpoint in a video game, right? So once you cross that checkpoint, then that means usually you don't have to go back and redo that. There's something called banking. But every part of the test also has certain things that are automatic failures. So that's what this video is gonna be going over uh, to make sure that you can avoid all that. So let's take the first section, for instance, on your pre-trip inspection. Pre-trip inspection is where you're gonna to have to know how to inspect both the inside and outside of the vehicle. With this, in order to pass, you must get 90% or better on your knowledge. So you have to show the examiners that you know what you're talking about, and you must be able to get most of the most of the things correctly. You're gonna have to point to all, the, all of the items of the truck itself. You're gonna have to describe the items and also examine them and tell the examiner what you're looking for. There are some things that will automatically fail you on the test. One thing that will always automatically fail you for the test is not listening to instructions or being rude to the examiner. Of course, the examiner is there to do their job and they, just like you, when they do their job, they wanna make sure that things are running nice and smoothly. So just listen to their instructions. If you have any questions, in most cases, you can ask the examiner to clarify because it's just gonna make your job easy and their job even easier as well, all right? The other thing that will do an automatic failure for the test, for the preacher portion of the test, is say you, after the inspection is done for the inside, you go outside to do your pre-trip inspection. If you don't have that key with you in your hand while you're doing that outside inspection, you fail, all right? So that's one main thing that's gonna make sure that you fail if you don't do that. Another thing is when you're inside the cab doing the cab check and the start of the air brake test, and there's a portion in there that a lot of people fail on because of the key, right? So when you're testing the vehicle itself, if you miss one of those items that we give you a whole checklist on, and you miss one of those items on the air brake test, a critical item, then all of a sudden you automatically fail right away, right? So on the pre-trip inspection, you wanna to listen to instructions. On the, uh, on the outside inspection, you wanna make sure that you have the key with you at all times. And then when it comes to the air brake test, you wanna make sure that you're knocking out every single point. Cause if you miss one of those items, your test is over within five to 10 minutes. And that's not something that we want to have happen to you, all right? So make sure you study that book. Make sure you study everything is gonna be from section 11 in the CDL manual. If you need some hands-on training for that portion of the test, you want, definitely wanna give us a call, 908-525-3609. We have broken down to a very simple step-by-step -step process for the in-cab inspection as well as the pre-trip inspection. And we're gonna get you extremely hands-on with the truck you'll be taking for the test, so there's no surprises there, all right? Now, the second part of the test, some automatic failures that you have to worry about. And the second part of the test, again, is gonna be the parking skills. Here, the DMV is going to test you on three different skills itself, right? Definitely, there's gonna be a straight line backing, and then the second skill is gonna be one of the offsets, either offset to the right or offset to the left. And then the last skill, they get to pick between uh, one of the parallel parkings or an alley dock. 
You're only gonna get tested on three of them. So some things that are gonna automatically fail you. If you hit a cone or hit a line, you, you just accumulate points against you and that's not an automatic failure. Some things that would be an automatic failure is not listening to instructions. So in an example, and this happens more often than you think, the examiner would say, okay, I want you to start at this point here. I want you to back up the truck until the front of your truck has crossed this back line here or these back cones. And if you start backing up the truck, everything's great, but the front of your vehicle has not completely crossed over that boundary line that they told you to stop at, then that means you're not listening to instructions and that is an automatic failure, even if you did everything perfectly. So you would definitely want to make sure you understand all instructions before moving forward. And again, just ask for the examiner's help it, or for clarification, I should say. The other thing that would become an automatic failure for the parking portion of this test itself is going to be if you get out and look excessively. So on every maneuver except straight line backing, you're able to get out and look two times. For straight line backing, you're only able to get out and look one time. So that means that that's all you get. If you're backing up straight and you have to get out and look the first time, that's fine, that's allowed but you cannot get out and look that second time for backing up straight. If you decide to get out and look that second time, the examiner will again automatically fail you for not listening or following instructions, right? So when it comes to the parking itself, the main two things you gotta watch out for is listen to instructions and make sure you watch your get out and looks. You can, don't have any extra. So say we pass both of those two sections and now we're ready for the road test portion of the test. This is the shortest part of the test and it's the easiest but it's also the easiest to fail or mess up if you make silly mistakes, right? So there's a whole bunch of automatic failures when it comes to the road test, and usually it's pretty simple stuff. So for instance, not stopping at a stop sign or a red light, of course you're not listening to the laws of the street, automatic failure, right? If you stall the vehicle, if you're driving a stick shift vehicle and you stall the vehicle on the road, automatic failure. If you're on a hill and then you roll back before you pull up, automatic failure. If you're coasting, what does that mean? Say you're shifting down, you're shifting down the road and all of a sudden you lost your gear or you press your foot on, on the clutch for too long and your vehicle's not in gear for a long period of time and the le what technically the rule is for the length of the vehicle, then you stall out as, and then you will actually fail automatically. And the one thing that hurts the most amount of people is hitting a curb. So tractor trailers, they're big mothers, right? So that being said, when you go around these turns, you wanna make sure that you're watching out for those curbs. If you hit one curb, if you just nick one curb during the test, does not matter how well you're doing the whole time, that is an automatic failure. So those are pretty much all the automatic failures you're gonna to have to watch out for for the road test portion of this test itself. I hope this video did help you out. Here at Driving Academy, we're here to help you out through this entire portion of the training itself. If you have your permit already, if you don't have your permit, then you'll start off in our classroom and then we'll walk you through that portion as well. But like I said, we're the only school around that can actually guarantee that we get your license. We know this stuff like the back of our hands. We help people every single day just like you. Our yards are always full, our students are always happy. And the people who actually commit and listen to exactly what we're doing, those are the guys who go out there, pass the test the first time, and then they get to start on their career as soon as possible. And that's all I wish for you. Here at Driving Academy, we have a mission of helping a million people get on the road to freedom. And what's more free than getting the license that you want and making more money while you're doing it. Also, the other cool thing about us is when you sign up with us, you're gonna be partnering up with an organization called Underground Railroad. And these guys actually help kids become free of human trafficking, human sex trafficking to be exact. So a portion of your tuition actually gets donated for them. So you're getting yourself on your road to freedom and you're also helping kids become truly free from the confines of their environment that they are right now. So again, if you have any questions about our school, if you want some more information about getting yourself a CDL license, give us a call at 908-525-3609 or visit the website below cdldrivingacademy.com and one of our team members will definitely be able to help you out. Just fill out that form, put your information in, and we'll be giving you a call shortly. Again, one more time, we're located in Linden, New Jersey. Give us a call, 908-525-3609, or visit the website below, cdldrivingacademy.com. Hope to see you soon. Thanks, and have a great day.